with special guest Kanye West. And that was Kanye West at Coachella. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Daily Boogie. I am Boogie the Man. So, did everybody see that footage yet of uh, Aesop Rocky bringing out Kanye West at Coachella? Kanye's mic was off for his whole performance in that ASAP Rocky song. Kanye swore he was the, the shit though. He came out, he had smiles, he was gigging, he was doing his thing, and all you saw was. But he did it the whole song. ASAP Rocky was pissed. I think he cut his set short and uh, stormed off the stage with Kanye in tow. This is kind of stuff that I like to see Kanye go through. A little bit of not needed struggle and frustration for him. I think that's when Kanye West mostly entertains me is when he's frustrated. Because his music really doesn't interest me. His music hasn't interested me since uh, Through the Wire. Uh, go digger. You know, I like that song with Jamie Foxx. It was dope. It seemed like a happier time when Kanye was doing that music when his mom was alive. After his mom passed, it seems like Kanye has been on a self-destructive, I don't care about nothing, egomaniac type of flow. I can't get down with that. So to see this man at Coachella, even though he's my hip-hop brethren, to see this man at Coachella, happy, smile, teeth showing, chest iron cat, chest of the cheetah, grinning like a bad boy, and his mic don't work, and he don't know it, that's hilarious. That's funny. I can't wait to see him talk about that. That's some good times, Kanye. Thank you. Uh, if everybody is agreeable, I would like to ask for a moment of silence to show that Bumps. solidarity and to honor those who were lost. Oh, my bad, Mr. Prez. That's my ankle. <laughs> Sorry. That's my ankle, boss. It's my ankle, boss. Ricky Rose, come on, man. When you're that big, you don't have ankles anymore. You got cankles. So what you got on your ankle right now is a cankle monitor, okay? When you're that big, you won't, the ankles are gone. No more ankles. Two things you don't have anymore. Elbows and ankles. Hello, better go. Uh, the diet didn't bring him back? I know you went on a diet and lost weight. You didn't find your ankles and elbows? Well, guess what? Your cankle monitor found your ankle. Because it went off when you were at the White House for the Brothers Keeper Youth Initiative program thing that Obama got cracking to keep youth, youth of color, out of jail on the right track doing something positive. That is why you're at the White House. But I bet you the White House people second guessed their decision to bring your big ass to the White House as soon as your cankle monitor went off. One more time, can I get the sound of what a cankle monitor sounds on a 500 pound MC like rapper Rick, 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 Ricardo Ross? Yeah, that's about how big you are. Listen, you beat a dude over the dome. You kidnapped him, you kept him hostage, you tortured him a little bit, you got in trouble, you had to bond yourself a couple million to give you the cankle monitor, so you beat someone over the dome, you kidnap him, you hurt him, and then you get invited to the White House. What? I don't get it. Did, was El Chapo there too? I don't understand. You're at the White House. Regardless, Obama's done with his speech, and your cankle monitor goes off. What? What are you doing? I don't even know why you're there, let alone what you're doing there with the cankle monitor on. How did you get there? How did they let you in the White House? With, like, isn't there some sort of, like, search? Uh, uh, like, you got to go through something in order to get in there. Like, you're allowed to have cankle monitors and go to Washington, D.C., to the White House and go meet the president with the cankle monitor? You just beat a dude over the dome and kidnapped him at your cribbage, man. Next stop, White House, meeting the president. I do not get it. Anyway, your cankle monitor went off, Holmes. 
Anyway, thank you for watching the Daily Boogie. I'm Boogie the Man. This is how we're going to end it. Uh, don't forget, in the description down below, I have a secret link. Most of the time it pertains to the content I'm speaking about. Sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, you'll be interested in the link because I go to the ends of the earth to find it for you. Anyway, that was a good little story. It was about a three-second story. I know you were really into it, but I'm done talking here. Who wanted the better the boogie, the bigger the better the better the flows? Nobody, thank you. I'm out.